you Hame, and yes, agree with those sentiments. Jack Watts just got out of the meeting. Jack, uh, that's a good, good win, wasn't it? It's a good win, mate. How good's life, eh? Fantastic, like isn't it? It's a good win. Reigning premiers, left Dusty at home, and thought we played pretty well, pretty tough all day, and, um, you know, we needed it after last week. How did he sum it up, the coach? He was, you know, happy, but it's also just getting that consistency week to week. You know, we were pretty poor last week, and, and um, you know, to come out and play a tough... Honest four quarters this week is really pleasing, but you know, going forward, we want to be able to do that every week. Were you surprised that Dusty didn't actually play? Well, I, I guess a sore, uh, a sore calf and gives him good time to get over and see his old man. So, um, you know, it's still midway through the year. I'm sure he'll, be, uh, he'll have a big back half. And I can sense the nerves in you, Jack. You play the demons in just two weeks, <laughs> just over two weeks now. No nerves. Well, they're on fire, aren't they? So. They certainly don't need me, that's for sure, Briss, but um, that'll be fun. That'll be, that'll be a good game over here, so can't wait. We all know you're a good golfer. I believe you've joined Grange. Have they accepted <laughs> you as a member? And are you down on the singles? I don't know how they've accepted me, but um, I'm actually blown out, believe it or not. It's uh, a bit embarrassing. But, um, yeah, I might, might need to get out on the range, I think. Well done. Who, who should we go to next? Jeez, there's not many around here, Jack. Uh, 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 we, uh, have to go into is it true? That, tell us about Charlie Dixon. Is he, he's going out with Miss World of 2016 <laughs> or something? If you just look at his Instagram, you'd be able to find out uh, all about them. But um, no, he's travelling very well, the big fella. Ollie Wine, single. He's yeah. uh, ready to mingle. So any girls out there that want to drop him a line, who oh, else well. have we got over there? This is not a pickup uh, station here. Go, but, see, uh, go see Rocky, or is right. he doing a... Uh... Well, no, we'll go and see him. Oh. Thanks, Jack. Good on you, Bruce. Well done. Tommy Rockcliffe just over here with us. Now, I might actually be on the phone doing an interview, I think, uh, Tom, so we might just uh, hold it. Chad Corns is just here. Just just before you go home, Chad, you look like you're all packed up and ready to walk out. What, Thought what, I was going to escape Yeah, yeah. What, what did you make of that? That was a great win, really good response from the boys after last week, so pretty proud of how they played. Yeah, and what, what did Ken actually say? Pretty much that. Uh, we had a, a confronting media on Monday, uh, and the boys stood up and responded to Kelly's, uh, Kenny's challenge against the best side in the comp, so boys were up and about. Well done. Thanks, Bob. Good on you, Chad. Uh, the runner these days of Port Adelaide, of course, and uh, um, Jared Pollack. We might go and have a chat with Jared just over here at the moment. Congratulations, great win. Yeah, thanks, mate. Yeah, it was a good win. And you personally, you had it, boys were talking about it. it was a bit of a rough start for you with, oh. you know, a few things going astray, but you got on top of it. Yeah, definitely. Um, got a couple of big whack from Kenny uh, on, on the phone and uh, yeah, a bit of a wake-up call needed it. Now, we're going to take you over to the monitor, so come over to the monitor with us and uh, we're going to show you a little bit of vision and just get your uh, opinion of this. So come over here, Jared, and we'll uh, wander over this way. Charlie, we need to talk to you in a minute if we can. Uh, now, now here it is here. Let's have a look here. I think this is where we're going to see it. What was go what was going on here? You got a bit of a spray from the coach. As I got to the phone, I started shitting myself because I knew I was going to cop a spray. And uh, I was in one ear, out the other, normally with Kenny, so he understands that. Yeah, but no, I needed that. It's a good wake-up call. So the, the, the mouthpiece of the phone wasn't used by you. It was all ears. It was all ears, and a uh, quick, quick, quick hang up there too. Halfway through his conversation. Well, you responded. Yeah, needed. Uh, every, every now and then you need a bit of a whack, and uh, yeah, got mine tonight and responded well. Great job, well done. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Jared Pollock there doing a great job tonight. You can see Corey Wingard there as well. Justin Westhoff over here. Might have a check. Mr. Pell Pepper over here did a great job as well. You have, you've had a good run over the last three weeks, haven't you? Yeah, it's good to be back. Um, playing some consistent footy, so yeah. Hey, the tackle. Now, you know you don't have to wind back and say, oh, I've had six tackles or seven. The tackle that you made, it was sensational. Inspired your teammates. Yeah, um, me and Vossi and I did a lot of work um, during the week uh, about getting low because I was giving a few too many highs away. So, um, yeah, we did a bit of work on it. And, Coming to play, so. Hey, by the way, I'm going to get hold of Travis Boak soon, but is it true that he's starting in the underwear range and he's promised you all underwear? In fact, here's a little, <laughs> here's a little picture. This is a little picture of the underwear range. Yeah. Are you expecting to get some free undies? Yeah, yeah I've, I've got unlimited um, undies, but yeah, get around it. This was Rogers. Um, give it a follow on Instagram. I think you'll appreciate it. <laughs> well done, mate. Congratulations. Good on you. Well done. I'll take the picture, mate. You won't need that. I don't know what you'll be doing with that back inside there. <laughs> Is he, uh, I, think he actually, I, think, I think he actually wanted the picture. I'm not sure what was going on there, but uh, anyway, we'll go over here and have a look. Tommy Rockcliffe, he's a long phone call for uh, Tommy. 
Yeah. He's, um, very popular. He's a very popular man doing an interview there. Uh, Michelangelo Roach, where is he? Here he is, look at this. Um, one of Australia's best football journalists. Uh, very kind, Brian. What did you, what did you think of uh, Port Adelaide? Solid, but I'm still thinking, why can't they score enough goals when it counts at the end of a game like they If do. there's one player you could talk to here right now, who would it be and why? Oh, Chad Wingard, because what? of all he copped during the week and how he dealt with it. So, he's the story of the night. Yeah. Have you spoken to him yet? No, we're, we're going to. We're just going to grab Charlie. Excuse me, Michael Angel. Uh, we might just grab Charlie Dixon here. I know you've already spoken to him, boys. Out, outside the rooms, Charlie. Congratulations. Great win. We're very aggressive tonight. Yeah, no, I just had to get back in, uh, to creating a contest and uh, willing myself to everything I could. Sort of hard to work out early who was going to get the free kick, whether it was going to be you or Rancy or who. It was, it was, uh, you were having both, both having a crack at it. Yeah, that's it. And, uh, you know, I enjoy that, that sort of contest against him. He's like best in the, in the comp at the moment. And, yeah, it's just um, always going to be body on body all day. Now, I am told uh, by many reliable sources that you have uh, the world absolutely sorted. Currently going out with Miss World of 2016, <laughs> and Madeline, of course. Uh, and not only going out with Miss World, you've planted her up in Sydney, and uh, how's all that going? It's a recent romance, I've heard. Yeah, a few months, mate. It's going well. Um, she's supposed to come down this week, but um, she, she got a bit crook, so she'll be down next week. So I'm just interested in what you say when your teammates say, oh, you know, who's your girlfriend? And you say, Miss World. They go, yeah. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> oh, well, sometimes you get lucky, mate. <laughs> hey, the, the undies uh, that uh, the captain's going to hand out, have you seen any of them? Oh, I haven't got any of mine yet, so he said they don't go up that big. I've got a big ass. So. Well done, Charlie. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Thank you. Oh, wait, hang on, I'll just pick up my photo there. And uh, where he is? Right, where? Which way? Behind me. Yeah, he's doing an interview with the Roach. Travis spoke here. We might just quickly... Grabby might have a listen to what the Roach is asking the skipper. Do you worry about not being able to score at times like you did in that second half? Oh, there's no doubt we want to score, but if we're playing time in our forward half, then it gives us an opportunity. So, um, you know, Richmond are the quality side and, and they're going to try and limit our uh, scoring of, uh, opportunities a lot. So, look, we've got any time in forward half, then that's great for our side. Chad Wingard's response, what did you think oh, Outstanding, mate. And look, he's copped it this week and a little bit during the year, and I'm, I'm so proud of him. He was... He was outstanding. I saw that out of the corner of my eye. He was outstanding tonight, and um, I thought he was you know, best on ground and led the way. Hey, Roach, I know you want to finish the interview. You can in a minute. I've just got to ask Bokey about when are the undies out, mate? The Rogers, so named after your late father, of course. Yes, yeah, so I named after Dad. Hopefully out in, uh, in three or four weeks. But yeah, thanks for that, BT. But it looks like you. Does it, Roach, does it look like he shaves down completely to you? Bit too much information. <laughs> Manscaper. Shave the legs before the game as well. So. so, mate, the boys are a bit worried that none have come their way so far. No, well, they're always after free stuff, the boys. But, uh, no, they'll be out in three weeks and I'll make sure they get them. Uh, continue on, Roach. Hey, by the way, will you give a pair to Koshi? Yeah, Koshi can get a pair. He'd look good in those, Roach, wouldn't he? Roach's not happy that I've upset his interview. Gee, there's people everywhere in here now. This is uh, like they've won the grand final. No, it's not. The players are very, very controlled. There's no doubt about that. I did see the Keith Thomas, the CEO, he before. Uh, can't quite track him down exactly now. Just Tom Rockcliffe still on the phone and Biggers has jumped in in front of me. Biggers just jumped in in front. Brad Ebert, we'll just, we'll just have a chat to Brad Ebert. Um, uh, now, is it true? Uh, congr yeah, what do you think of the, of the skipper? Have you shown it a few times? Yes, we have. Yeah, good, good. Are you no, going to get a pair? Yeah, I made sure he got the rig in check for that one, that's for sure. And what about you? Uh, tonight was a great effort? Yeah, it was good, it was good. The, um, the team just really fought hard and, and held on there, so it was awesome. Hey, is it true that you're launching your own wine? I am, yeah. How do you know that one? Oh, just that drifts yeah. around. Yeah, OK. That's um, Tommy Jonas and I have sort of got a bit of an interest in it and what had a bit of a go it? making it last year. And um, Hey, Diddle. Yeah, just one of your favourite. Is it a call straight down the middle? Are we talking straight down, <laughs> down the eye did a little? Is it a red or a white? What are, what uh, it's a red. It's a red. Yeah. So we just um, we're good mates with a couple of boys up in the Barossa and thought we'd just have a crack ourselves. So yeah, release them pretty soon, BT. Oh, yeah. I'll have to send a send a bottle over. Absolutely, you yeah. will. Thursday night here against the Bulldogs. Yeah, you're going to be back again. Or... Uh, I think we are. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, it'll be um, it'll be good. Yeah. It's um, I guess it's another quick turnaround, but I think the boys are ready and yeah, I guess we'll just switch into recovery mode now. Make sure we're all good to go. And back at it. Well done. Good luck with the wine. Hey, thanks, mate. Thanks. Brad Ebert there joining us, and uh, Justin Westhoff, who had a great game as well. Absolutely fantastic. These three guys over here wondering why they're not on TV. I would have thought that's pretty obvious. Yes, and uh, Tommy Rockcliffe, this has been a long interview, Biggers. 
So uh, we might just have a listen. Last week we started to play really slow footy and VT's just put the mic in my mouth. But um, we felt like tonight we just had to take the game on and play some fast, exciting brand Port Adelaide footy. And we felt like we did that for, for the full four quarters and, and took the game on and, and got the job done. Tommy Rockcliffe there. Uh, doing a little interview. Keith Thomas, the CEO. I did see him around here somewhere. We're, here he is, right here. Keith, congratulations. Big win for you. Mate, it was a great win. Tough, tough uh, all night, I thought. It was great. Membership, how's that going? 61,000. That's good. Top, top echelon. That's not bad for an Adelaide club, is it? Yeah, no, it's going good. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else going well? I'll tell you what we need. We need you to get on China. You're not pumping it up enough. Yeah, well, you're, 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 I haven't been to China negative. yet. I know. Yeah. Well, next year, get you out the front of the plane, come with us, we'll, we'll give you a look at it. Tell us as a club what you get out of China. Uh, unique point of difference. We're the only club doing it. That's, that's huge for us. Uh, we think that it's commercially enormous um, for, in the longer term. And right now, um, you know, we, we just think it's an opportunity for the club to broaden, broaden its appeal um, you know, in, a, in a market that's uncontested. It's pretty good. Can, can it be measured what sort of effect it has on the players yet? I think they, they enjoy it, actually. Uh, Ken doesn't travel well. Kenny Hinckley gets a little bit homesick, but the, the players love it. They're playing poker, they're playing uh, table tennis for three days. Who could complain about that? The boss, the CEO, Keith Thomas. Thanks, Keith. Thank you very much. Let's uh, see Justin Westhoff over there. We might come over here. Thanks, Tommy. Well done. Great game over there. Look at all these little kids here. Have a look at all these little kids. Absolutely fantastic. Port Adelaide, how, how old are you? What's your name? My name's Naya and I am eight years old. And who's your favourite player? My favourite player is Robbie Gray. Oh, Robbie Gray. Who's your favourite player? Mine. Who's your favourite player? Ollie Wines. Ollie Wines. Now, where is straight over here somewhere? Might be able to go and see if we can get Ollie Wines. I can see him over there. Come with me. We'll go over here and see if we can get hold of Ollie Wines, who's just over here on the wall. Here he is now, Ollie. Might just have a quick chat with Ollie. Congratulations, mate. Great win, wasn't it? It was, yeah. No, um, the consistency over four quarters, and we knew we had to do that to win. They're a pretty good time side, reigning Premier, top of the ladder. What was the best part of the win for you? Uh, I think just seeing we could hold on. Um, we're under a little bit of pressure, despite probably dominating inside 50s in that last. We just couldn't convert, and um, we put the pressure on them. A, a lot of crucial tackles towards the end, and got over one. Introduce us to the friends, family. Who, who have you got here? Tom Stevens. So he's from Echuca. Echuca um, boy. Lives in Adelaide now. This is my mum, Jane. Jane, how are you? Mum, this is BT, obviously. Hello, BT. How are you? I'm very good. So you've come over just for this game? No, I've been here for a conference today. Oh, what sort of conference? Uh, learning about Meninja Cockle. Well, that's pretty dangerous. And who else you got here, Ol? This is Verna. She works with my mum. She's over for the, for the conference. Her tap is she? She's the queen of Adelaide. One of the best media managers ever in the oh, AFL. Brian, I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Roger Rashid's sister, of course. Oh, what else you got to tell us? Uh, not much, no. I've heard you want to be a pilot. I do, yeah. No, um, I've got my pilot licence and I actually took Darcy Byrne-Jones up. The fir uh, first time I've taken someone up the other day, he was, he was pretty nervous. So you got someone to go with you? So I got someone to go with me, yeah. Um, we've got some petrified flyers, Boki and Robbie Gray, uh, they're absolutely scared of flying, so they'll never come up. But if you ever over and want to come up for a fly or fly back well, to a well, yeah, <laughs> Probably not, but at this stage, look, Ollie, I won't ask you about your contract, but if you don't mind, I might go and ask your mum. Is that OK? Yeah, yeah, ask her. All right, let's go over. Here, here, here she is. We, we said we wouldn't ask Ollie about his contract, so we, we, we've heard you're the decision maker. So what happens from here, Mum? Totally not the decision maker. What do you think he should do? You know, if, if you're a mum, what would you advise him to do? Where do you want your son? Wherever he's happy. Oh, that's a very, very Absolutely good answer. Absolutely, wherever he's happy. And I think he's really happy here in Adelaide. Do you think he'll make a decision soon? His contracts, as he said, it's not till October. And if people keep poking him, he'll probably stay till the last hour. Very good, but, Mum. I can see no change. He's why would he? He's very happy. Mum's the word and she's towing the line. Well done. Thank you very much. Let's get over here to Tom Brown and find out the latest in all of the news. You're braver than I am. You've interrupted Rich's